fascinating realm of psychological tricks used by seduction masters to win over women. Several studies indicate that knowing how to activate the most sensitive parts of her brain can greatly improve your chances of succeeding in seducing her. Stay tuned as we reveal these advanced methods for penetrating her subconscious through deft manipulation of its most sensitive points. The secret to making the process of enticing any lady go more smoothly is to use each trick's subtle yet effective, psychologically supported technique. It all comes down to connecting with the 98% of you who haven't subscribed. So come on, guys, show some love and support. Many thanks to everyone who has already subscribed. The intricacies of the mind and forging a connection that transcends appearances. Don't miss a second of this content, as each revelation holds the key to revealing a deeper understanding of the art of seduction. In addition, the final trick we reveal will provide you with a quick and simple way to get inside her head, giving you an advantage in your quest for connection. So let's get started. Press play, take in the information, and arm yourself with psychological tools that will improve your interactions. If you find these insights useful, don't forget to like and share this content. Also, sign up to receive additional advice on mastering the art of seduction. Now let's get going. Let's begin by discussing the first The Benjamin Franklin Effect is a psychological phenomenon named after the astute founding father that can make the process of wooing women a little easier. It says that we can make ourselves seem more desirable to someone by asking them for a tiny favor. The interesting part is that when someone does a favor for us, it causes a shift in how they see us. They begin to rationalize their actions in their own minds, reasoning something like, if I'm doing this favor, it must be because I find this person attractive. This is a subtle but powerful way to change their perspective. To use this method, start with small favors, like asking Maria to do, provide you with food or drink, or ask for anything as basic as a pen or piece of paper. The goal is to provide opportunities for these little exchanges that can gradually foster a pleasant relationship. Leave a comment below if you're finding these tips helpful, and don't forget to like. It's like sowing the seeds of attraction through shared moments, making her subconsciously associate being helpful with feeling drawn to you. Stay tuned for more tricks. And related research on the effects of extended eye contact has revealed an intriguing way to influence how others perceive us. When used in eye contact interactions with someone you're interested in, this method can greatly enhance the appearance of your eyes. The secret is to keep your eyes open during a discussion. Here's how to accomplish it. Gaze into her eyes, holding the gaze for around 3.5 seconds before deftly moving your attention to another point as though this transition were entirely typical. This purposeful action gives the impression that you're seeing directly into her essence. Try using this technique the next time you're talking to that special someone to add a touch of allure to your eyes and create a connection that transcends words. It's a simple yet effective way to make her feel valued and leave a lasting impression. It communicates a sense of uniqueness and subtly encourages a desire for more of those captivating gazes in the future. The third method is to make the seemingly straightforward gesture of repeating her name. Mentioning and keeping in mind a woman's name can have a profound effect. Since not all men pay attention to Aristotle's rhetoric, which emphasizes the power of persuasion through effective communication, repeating a woman's name in conversation will make her subconscious mind perceive you as someone familiar and trustworthy. After all, our name is one of the most important words in our lives. Saying and recalling a woman's name creates a sense of familiarity and building trust is paramount in the art of seduction, where Aristotle's lessons on ethos, logos, and pathos find resonance. By doing this, you immediately pique her interest and set yourself apart. Use this strategy during your conversation by asking her name and mentioning it three times. If you enjoy what you're hearing, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more insightful content. We currently have a wealth of information waiting for you. Contagious optimism now, let's explore the fourth trick. A genuine grin is one of the most powerful yet basic tools you can have in your arsenal. It turns out that smiling works like a magic wand when it comes to gaining a woman's favor. The scoop. When you smile warmly at a woman, your mirror neurons activate. These tiny brain cells create an emotional dance that makes the woman unconsciously mirror your positive vibes. The secret is in the fascinating world of mirror neurons and their psychological impact on those around you. The next time you find yourself in a conversation with that special someone, let your smile work its magic. Not only will it make her day a little brighter, 
but it will also create a positive image of you in her subconscious mind. It's a simple trick, but the impact can be profound. It's like a happy contagion. When she feels that surge of happy contagion happiness, she'll associate it with you, making you come across as pleasant, positive, and downright desirable. The chameleon effect is the fifth trick, and it's a clever approach to win someone over without them even recognizing it. Try the chameleon effect if you want to come off as more likable, because a 1999 study found that people are drawn to those who mimic their behavior. Here's how it works. The next time you're chatting with someone interesting, pay close attention to their movements and gestures in particular, and then subtly mimic some of those behaviors during your conversation. This may sound a little strange, but it can make the other person feel more connected to you because they'll notice these small similarities in your behavior, even in the smallest gestures, and it can make them feel more at ease and friendly toward you. See the magic unfold by connecting with your inner chameleon. Let's examine the sixth move now. Science supports our assertion that physical contact plays a major role in this case by providing evidence of slight physical contact. The beauty of delicate physical contact in strengthening a bond between two people is its capacity to elicit strong feelings and foster a sense of intimacy, which enhances physical appeal. Proportion incorporate gentle touches to places such as the shoulders, forearms, lower back, and waist into your conversations. These locations have a silent language that conveys your emotions. Take advantage of both planned and unplanned possibilities. For example, when the music begins, invite her to dance. This is a planned opportunity that leads to physical contact. Similarly, in more unplanned situations, such as when you are assisting her in crossing the street, look for ways to build that gentle touch. Try a little touch here and there. It's a subtle but powerful move that can add a layer of intimacy to your connection. This bold yet caring tactic is generally well accepted and can function as a catalyst for speeding up the development of your relationship. Moving on to the eighth trick, which is the ability to make her laugh, science has confirmed what many people already knew. A good sense of humor is like a secret weapon for getting through to women. It's common knowledge that women are drawn to men who can make them laugh. The science behind laughter is that when someone laughs, endorphins, magical hormones associated with pleasure, are released from their brain. Therefore, when you can make a woman laugh, you're not only getting her attention, but you're also helping her brain associate pleasure with you. If you want advice on how to become an expert at making women laugh, please remain tuned and feel free to leave a comment requesting additional advice. We'll be sure to offer some humorous and thought-provoking thoughts. Since laughter is a universal language that can bridge divides and foster relationships, why not add some happiness to your interactions? Now let's explore the ninth trick. Radiating confidence Radiant confidence has a certain allure and power in the world of attraction, much like a magnetic force. Men who exude confidence and live by their own standards without constantly seeking approval from others are more attractive to women. Imagine a man who knows his own worth and doesn't resort to begging for affection. If he shows interest in a woman, he doesn't go out of his way to win her approval. Instead, he just keeps being himself. Adopting this mindset greatly increases your allure and elevates your perceived value in their eyes. It's not about applying the rule of minimum effort. Rather, it's about applying it. This principle is all about being confident in yourself without overthinking or trying too hard. If you have any questions about the rule of minimum effort, please leave a comment, and I'll be happy to explain further. Keep in mind that confidence is about a quiet assurance that speaks volumes rather than arrogance. The Leberg tip effect is the ninth trick. This intriguing psychological phenomenon highlights how crucial it is to leave a good first impression on people, no matter how bad. It's been said that people tend to assume that everything about you is what they see at first glance. For instance, when you first see a comedian, you might assume that their entire life consists of jokes and making people laugh, even though we all know this isn't always the case. This impact resides in its capacity to mold the initial impression you make by streamlining the procedure of conquest makes the most of a woman's first impressions in order to establish yourself as the man she wants. It's critical to have self-awareness, which includes caring for your physical appearance, your vocal communication style, and your manners. Further tips in this video, and don't forget the Stoic Diary. Of course, above all, please subscribe to this channel. The tenth piece of advice, the power of posture encompasses multiple dimensions. Research has demonstrated that our body language can communicate a great deal about our feelings, 
levels of self-worth, and expectations of other people. Let's concentrate on how to show the woman we are interested in that you are a strong man. Some postures that convey strength include sitting with your back straight in the available space, keeping your shoulders straight, keeping your arms and legs open, and raising your head slightly to appear as though you are gazing toward the horizon. When a woman notices you have good posture, she will be more appreciative of you. Men who are attracted to women who take care of their posture are attracted to those who do the same because it makes it easier for women to open up to them by projecting the security and confidence that they desire. Most men do not realize the importance of maintaining good posture when standing or sitting. Thank you for watching, and I hope these ideas are extremely helpful. Please consider sharing this video with others who might benefit from it, and feel free to express your thoughts in the comments area. Knowledge is power, so spread the word and wait till we meet again.